Chef Love, can you give us a little tour of your uh, tailgating truck? Sure. Uh, let's start. We'll start here. One of the most important things: cold beer. So we've got a CO2 kegerator here that's uh, integrated into the to the truck. Um, kind of start with that before you start loading everything out, obviously, right? Get you a cold beer, especially on a day like today when it's really hot. So this is built into the tailgate. So you got to imagine this is the back of the truck. This slides all the way in and tucks in tight. So the grill and everything fits underneath the tonneau cover, which is really cool. So it all starts by the tonneau lifting up hydraulically. So we can, we got a little switch. It makes it go up and down. That's all controlled from either outside or inside, either one. Then we've got a fully integrated grill uh, infrared side and a regular side, a little smoke box as well. That's all controlled by propane, which is up underneath the truck as well, a horizontal propane tank. The inside of it is all hand-tooled leather, so every bit of it is hand-tooled. The back of the truck, all the way to the top of the tonneau cover. Uh, then moving around, I'm, this, is all, this is my workstation, so here we have, uh, for what I'm cooking today, I'm doing uh, game hens, with some grilled artichokes and hearts of palm. So I try to put all of the condiments that I'm gonna use on the meat or the vegetables in half of them and the other half I use for finishing. So if we have burgers and chicken sandwiches, we'll do lettuce, tomato and various things like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my vegetables on now, I'll do some artichokes. This is a great little dish here. It's grilled game hens, you can use chicken. If you're gonna use chicken, use the chicken thighs at least, something with some flavor, not the chicken breasts. And I got some hearts of palm here. These are all cleaned and poached. So you want to do this ahead of time before you head out. Hit them with a little bit of peanut oil. Everybody knows you got to use peanut oil if you're grilling. And just some salt and pepper. Like this. A nice hot grill so we can get some good char on them. Try to get these on, I'll show you around to the other side of the grill. So the other, the other great thing about this is you gotta have, obviously you gotta have a place for cold stuff. So what I did is I built in a cooler into the tailgate, which is right here. Keep your cold stuff cold. It's like the old McDLT, cold stuff cold, hot stuff hot. Uh, with cutting boards on top, obviously, it's a workstation on top. And then I have these two containers. Depending on what I'm doing, I always keep some olive oil and some ketchup, some, you know, some mayonnaise uh, for when we do burgers. I do burgers a lot for the kids. And then uh, we get into the entertainment side of it. It's a fully integrated system here that uh, has music, full DVD, subwoofers. You can have a giant dance party out here if you want. Is in My kids watch movies, we watch games, obviously, things like that. And then the other cool thing is we've got LED lights that light up so we keep the whole workstation lit. Also underneath the grill as well. Um, you always feel like you can add one more thing to it, it seems like. So each time we go out, we think of something new. So we do have version two coming, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but as of right now, this thing works out pretty good. The great thing is it opens and packs up in a matter of minutes. So unlike setting up a tailgate where you have to pull in and set up your grill, this literally opens and closes in five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna show you real quick kind of how it slides in. Try to turn these artichokes over. Look how great those look. Even though this grill is small, it packs a mighty punch. It's nice and hot, which is what you want. Ah. It's also real hot when it's 104 out, it helps out. So, on the back side, and I'll just slightly slide this in so you can see how it works. Just pick it up like this, and it starts sliding in, just like so, and it all fits all the way in, integrates all together. Tonneau cover comes all the way down. You drive down the street, you never know it even exists. But just to make it a little bit more interesting, we went ahead and put some hand-tooled silver door handles these are all made by a local silversmith, pretty awesome. Uh, and then the inside's all hand-tooled leather as well. 
The gear shift, hand tooled silver, cup holders all hand tooled silver. I mean, you just don't know where to stop sometimes. How much would something like this set someone back? Uh, if you can find somebody to build it for you, which is the hardest part, uh, we, I don't know exactly. I didn't, I didn't pay for it personally, so it's probably about 115,000 somewhere around there. Which I mean, it's cheaper than buying a new Range Rover. You can cook in it, so whichever way you want to look at it, I suppose. Almost finished. Check this out. Five ingredients in this dish, that's what makes it awesome. This is a uh, balsamic mayonnaise, okay? You can make it yourself, or Hellman's has one now that they even make balsamic mayonnaise, which is kind of crazy. So, a little bit of acidity for the fat that's in the chicken, or the game hen, however you want to say it, and a little brightness. Do it like this. So I'll take these little game hens like this and just whack them up a little bit. Then we kind of pile it on top. That's where it starts to get really fun. You make yourself look good without even having to look good. Now you can serve this for four people or 20 people or 50 people, it all works out the same. And it's good hot or cold, which is great. So you can finish it, lay it out, let people enjoy it. And put just a little bit more of the mayo on top. If you wanna be fancy, you can call yours a balsamic aioli if you wanna sound really cool. I just like to stick with mayonnaise because I know what it is. I mean, that's the tailgate in seven minutes. Pretty good. Kind of looks good too. There we go.